What's up, everybody? Today, we're going to be diving into a crucial topic, the five key areas where Triple H needs to improve in the WWE. With Triple H at the helm of the creative decisions, it's essential to address these issues to ensure that your product remains engaging and compelling. So let's get to it. Under Triple H's regime, WWE has relied on a familiar match types like gauntlet matches and small tournaments to decide who gets a shot at the goal. These setups could be entertaining, no doubt about it, but when overused, they run the risk of becoming predictable and even stale. Take gauntlet matches, for example. They're a staple for creating drama and showcasing endurance, but if they're the primary method for determining new challengers, they can start to feel like we're watching the same story unfold over and over. In tournaments, while it could be exciting and add a layer of competition, they often lack the personal stakes that make us truly invest in the outcome. They're a great way to determine a new number one contender, but they're not the only way. So, what's the alternative? How can WWE keep its championship pursuits fresh and engaging? The answer lies in integrating character development and storytelling into the chase for the titles. Instead of relying on predetermined match types, WWE could focus on building unique narratives around each competitor. Imagine if the journey of the title shot was deeply enwined into a wrestler's personal story, their rivalries, and their character arcs. Think about the impact of a well-crafted storyline that naturally leads a competitor to the championship. It's not just about winning the match, it's about overcoming personal challenges, proving themselves, and ultimately earning their place at the top. By weaving character development into the championship picture, WWE can create more compelling narratives that keep the fans hooked. Every contender becomes a larger part of the story, making their pursuit of the title shot not just a series of matches, but a significant chapter in their wrestling journey. Thinking about classic examples from the past, views that were driven from personal vendettas, intense rivalries, and deep character arcs, these stories made title matches feel like a climax of an epic saga rather than just another contest. Incorporating these elements doesn't mean completely abandoning the gauntlet matches or tournaments. Instead, it's about using them sparingly and ensuring that they fit within a broader, character-driven narrative. Imagine a tournament where each match builds on a personal rivalry or a gauntlet match that unfolds as part of a long-standing feud. It's about enhancing the storytelling, not just match types. In conclusion, while Triple H's approach provides structure, there's immense potential in integrating deeper character narratives with title pursuits. By doing so, WWE can not only keep the content fresh, but also enhance the overall storytelling experience for fans. What do you think? Are you ready for a shift towards more story-driven championship pursuits? Despite the tremendous progress over the years, there's a crucial issue that continues to undermine the potential of female wrestlers. So let's talk about the current state of the women's division and what needs to change for its future to be brighter. The status quo. The women's division has come a long way from its days of being the sideshow to the main event. We've seen incredible talents like Asuka, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch make waves to change the game. These women have not only set high standards with their in-ring ability, but also have benefited from substantial investment in their storylines and character development. However, their success highlights a glaring issue. Not all female wrestlers are receiving the same level of attention and care. Despite being on the main roster for several years, Many female wrestlers find themselves stuck in uninspired storylines and lacking memorable moments. Historically, women's wrestling thrived on engaging interactions with male wrestlers. These views and alliances created compelling narratives and resonated with the fans. However, today's approach seems to be heavily reliant on simply putting a title on a woman to generate interest. Titles alone are not enough. They might create a temporary buzz, but they don't sustain long-term engagement without a solid story behind them. The issue here is not just a lack of focus, but also the disparity in how female talent is developed and showcased. Historically, successful women's wrestling has been linked with male talent. Whether it was through rivalries, alliances, or simply shared storylines, these interactions help build the characters and provide depth. This strategy worked because it created multi-layered narratives and drew fans in and made every match matter. While integrating women's wrestling storylines with male wrestlers may seem like a step backward, it's worth considering how these interactions added dimensions to the women's division in the past. The key is balance. Using these interactions to complement, not overshadow the female talent's own storylines. So, what can be done to improve the situation? It's time for a more balanced approach. The focus should shift towards creating engaging, well-rounded storylines for all female wrestlers. Investing in their character development, providing them with intriguing storyline art, and not just relying on titles to generate interest are crucial steps. By building stories that highlight their individual strengths and challenges, the fans can connect with them on a deeper level. This does not mean abandoning historical strategies, but evolving them to fit today's audience. Women's wrestling deserves stories that are as captivating and intricate as they're given to their male counterparts. 
The potential for the women's division is immense. With the right booking, every female wrestler can shine and contribute to a dynamic and engaging product. It's up to the decision makers to step up and create opportunities that allow talented athletes to tell their stories. If you've been following the WWE closely, you might have noticed something concerning. The mid card seems to be floundering. On Raw, we see occasional efforts to build up the mid-card talent, but many of these wrestlers still end up feeling overlooked. On SmackDown, the situation isn't much better. The mid-carders are kind of present, but they don't actually come off as serious threats to top titles. The real issue here is the diminishing role of the mid-card titles like the Intercontinental Championship and the US title, especially the IC title. Traditionally, these titles were seen as stepping stones to the main event scene. They was used to develop and elevate future stars, giving fans a glimpse of who might be ready to contend for that top spot. Think back to legends like Bret Hart, Steve Austin, The Rock. They held the Intercontinental title as a crucial part of their rise in superstar. It wasn't just a title, it was the proving ground. And today, that concept seems to have been pushed to the sidelines. Nowadays, mid-card titles seem to be like cancellation prizes rather than opportunities and genuine growth. They're given out with little fanfare or real investment in the wrestlers that seem to be holding them. This has led to a mid-card scene that lacks direction and compelling storylines. Many mid-carders are simply treading water, quoting repetitive feuds or irrelevant storylines that do nothing to enhance their standing. This lack of meaningful development doesn't just hurt the individual wrestlers, it affects the overall product and how engaged a WWE program can be. So, what's the solution here? How can WWE revitalize the mid-card scene and make the titles matter again? Once again, the answer lies in creating compelling, multi-layered storylines that genuinely elevate mid-card competitors. First, WWE needs to invest in long-term storytelling for mid-card wrestlers. This means giving them complex characters, clear motivations, and significant rivalries. By doing so, mid-carders can become an integral part of the show, with storylines that captivate the audience and build anticipation for the eventual rise of the main event. Additionally, mid-card titles should be positioned as prestigious and pivotal. They shouldn't be seen as placeholders, but as legitimate goals to signify a wrestler's growth and potential. A well-crafted title run can serve as a major stepping stone, helping build the wrestler's credibility and fan support. In conclusion, WWE needs to put focus on its mid-card scene. It's not just about creating space for more wrestlers. It's about enhancing the storytelling frameworks for a show. By reinvigorating mid-card storylines and promptly positioning mid-card titles, WWE can create a more dynamic and engagement product for its fans. The mid-card title was more than just filler. It's a crucial part of WWE's ecosystem. Let's hope we see more positive changes on that soon. And now everybody's favorite topic. Let's face it, the tag team division in WWE is in dire straits. Right now, it feels like teams are just being thrown out there with no rhyme, reason, and it shows. The division is severely lacking in investment and creativity. We got teams that don't have any meaningful stories or competitive drive, and it's starting to wear thin. Take a look at some of the recent tag teams. Many of them seem to be forced on a whim, without no backstory or compelling reason for their existence. This lack of direction makes it hard for fans to get invested. So, we're missing that spark. Those gripping narratives and intense rivalries that make the tag team wrestling truly memorable. Think back to the glory days of tag team wrestling. Teams like the Hardy Boys, Edge and Christian, I hate Christian, and the Dudley Boys didn't just compete. They were part of long-running stories that captivated the audience. Their feuds were epic, their matches were unforgettable, the tag team titles meant something, and the rivalries built around them created some of the more inciting moments in wrestling history. Compare that to today's wrestling scene, and the difference is stark. There's a noticeable absence of compelling narratives and high stakes surrounding the tag team titles. Instead, we're seeing matches that feel like they're just there to fill time rather than advance the story or elevate competitors. So... What can WWE do to turn this ship around? How can they revitalize the tag team division and make it matter again? It all starts with investment in storytelling and creativity. Surprise, surprise. First and foremost, WWE needs to develop intriguing storylines. This means giving tag teams distinct personalities, motivation, and rivalries. Imagine a division where every match tells a story where there's real animosity or partnership dynamics at play. Building up rivalries that last and evolve over time can add layers of excitement and anticipation. Create a genuine sense of competition by making tag team titles prestigious again. They should be seen as major achievement, not just a consolation prize or a way to keep wrestlers busy. This involves booking high stake matches, developing meaningful feuds, and ensuring that the title feels like a big deal. A well-booked tag team title division can offer some of the more exciting and memorable moments in wrestling. From thrilling matches to emotionally charged storylines, tag team wrestling has the potential to capture the imagination of fans and deliver must-see television. Remember, 
The best tag team divisions are the ones where fans are invested, where every match matters, and where storylines keep people coming back for more. In conclusion to this, WWE has a golden opportunity to reinvigorate its tag team division. By focusing on creative storytelling, building up rivalries, and restoring prestige in its tag team titles, WWE can turn a division into one of the more exciting features. What do you think? Is the tag team division beyond saving, or is it just waiting for a creative spark? Let me know your thoughts on that one in the comments section. Now let's get to something that's been a personal pet peeve of mine. A shift from creating memorable moments to focusing too heavily on flashy entrances. It's a controversial topic, but one that needs addressing. So let's get into why WWE needs to start prioritizing impactful storytelling and genuine surprises over mere spectacle. Let's face it, modern WWE is obsessed with grand entrances. You've got elaborate pyrotechnics, intricate stage design, elaborate costumes. But here's the kicker. While these entrances are visually impressive, they often overshadow what really matters. The matches and moments that leave lasting impact. At some point, the bell has to ring. Think back to some of the greatest moments in wrestling history. Remember when Austin flipped the bird at Vince McMahon or when Hogan slammed Andre at WrestleMania 3? These weren't just flashy entrances. These were moments in raw emotion, surprise, and storytellings that kept fans talking for years. Contrast that to today's product. And while entrances may be spectacular, how often do we find ourselves remembering the matches and promos? When was the last time you felt truly surprised by a storyline twist or emotionally invested in a few? I mean, outside of the obvious. The thrill of unpredictable storytelling and genuine surprises seem to have faded into the background. Here's the hard truth. WWE's focus on entrances and spectacle has come at the expense of meaningful content. Sure, flashy entrance can capture the attention, but it's the moments that follow. The impactful promos, unforgettable match sequences, and genuine surprises that truly make a show memorable. We need to shift our focus back to creating moments that resonate long after the show ends. This means investing in compelling storytelling, delivering memorable matches, and crafting promos that stick with the audience. The element of surprise should be a key component in every show, keeping fans on the edge of their seats and emotionally engaged. Think about it. When was the last time you experienced genuine shock or awe from a storyline twist? If you can't remember, it's time to reconsider what WWE is prioritizing. Creating unforgettable moments is crucial. It's about crafting experiences that fans will remember and talk about long after the show ends. Interests are great, but they shouldn't overshadow the substance of the show. By focusing on impactful storytelling and genuine surprises, WWE can recapture the magic and create moments that truly matter. Imagine a show where every segment, every match, every promo leaves you wanting more. That's the kind of wrestling experience that turned casuals into lifelong fans. It's time for WWE to remember what made wrestling great in the first place. Creating moments that resonate and leave lasting impact. Flashy entrances are fun, but they should never be a substitute for storytelling and memorable content. What do you think? Am I focusing too much on the spectacle and not enough on the substance? Triple H has a tremendous opportunity to enhance WWE by addressing these areas. By refreshing matching ideas, developing the women's division, giving depth to the mid-card, revitalizing the tag team division, and focusing on creating memorable moments. WWE can elevate its product and engage fans on a deeper level. What do you think? What are other areas that Triple H needs to improve? Let me know in the comments below. And as an outro for me, thanks for joining me on this deep dive into WWE's current focus. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more wrestling insights and discussion. Till next time, keep the passion alive and stay tuned for more.